One month after the election, a congressional race in North Carolina could be headed for a do-over amid allegations of election fraud. Dean Reynolds has the latest twist. Tonight, Democrat Dan McCready, who conceded the November 6th election to his Republican opponent, withdrew that concession amid charges his defeat was because of fraud. I didn't serve overseas in the Marine Corps just to come back home and watch politicians and career criminals attack our democracy. In the race between McCready and Republican Mark Harris, Harris appeared to win by 905 votes, but questions continue to arise. Why, for instance, did a lopsided share of absentee ballots that were counted favor Mr. Harris, while an overwhelming amount of ballots requested but never returned or counted came from areas likely to favor McCready? At the center of this is a convicted felon, Leslie McCray Dallas, who was a consultant to the Harris campaign. Wayne Goodwin, North Carolina's Democratic Party chairman, says residents have said activists went door to door seeking unsigned or unsealed absentee ballots. Several individuals have admitted that McCray Dallas paid them to harvest these absentee ballots and drop them off to him personally. Led by the president, Republicans nationwide have long cast themselves as victims of voter fraud. It's a rigged system. It is a rigged, rigged system. But Dallas Woodhouse, executive director of the state GOP, has gone from claiming this was all a Democratic conspiracy to worrying over the mounting allegations and how they may hurt the party. All Republicans across the state are horrified by this. This is against everything that our activists stand for. Now, the state board of elections has twice declined to certify the race in the 9th district and will probably hold a hearing on it later this month, all of which means a brand new election may have to be held. Jeff? Dean Reynolds, thank you.